back in the day, I was reading an article, Ken Singleton said when you used to come out of the bullpen in a car, you used to get out of that car like a, like a cannonball and get right onto the mound. Just to uh, talk about those days back then, because you'd never even see anything like that in terms of a car coming out from the bullpen, dropping off the relief pitchers. Well, yeah, we used to have that little, uh, they used to sponsor the Yankees and um, it was a Toyota pinstripe, you know, Yankee pinstripes and, and um, the doors in center field used to open up from the bullpen and, and drive us in. And, you know, through that really tough stretch, when I joined the Yankees for the first couple of months, I really struggled. And I had put in so much pressure on myself that, uh, you know, uh, man, I I lost a ball game every way conceivable. And when that car would come in, the grounds crew would fight over who was going to bring me in because nobody wanted to bring me in. It was it was a dangerous job. And uh, when it came around the warning track, um, whatever people were eating, they were throwing on that car. So we had to turn the windshield wipers on to see where the hell we were going. But. Um, you know, I worked my way out of that, but it was a it was the toughest stretch of my career that I'd ever gone through. You know, I put so much pressure on myself being with the Yankees and, um, you know, uh, coming over. Sparky Lyle had won the best, you know, the, the you know, Cy Young Award. I mean, you know, I, I came over to work with Sparky uh, to, I thought, I had envisioned that we would be the left best lefty-righty combination ever. And it didn't work out that way. They gave me his job on a silver platter, mm -hmm. and I proceeded to stink the joint up. But yeah, I used to, you know, that was my demeanor. I would come in in that car, and and uh, we had a few laughs about it. Um, you know, I'd slam the door right in front of the uh, dugout and hand the bat boy my jacket, and um, you know, but that was my demeanor. I, you know, I was a different guy on the field than I was mm -hmm. off the field. Mm -hmm. So uh, uh, yeah, it was fun. You know, it was fun coming in in that car. And that ride, what did it do to your adrenaline rush? Because obviously you're not jogging out to the mound, you're in the car and you have to wait patiently until you do get there. Well, it was full blown. I mean, you know, there was no tiptoeing around. I, you know, I had a lot of adrenaline going and, uh, uh, you know, it was just, I loved uh, the role of the relief pitcher. Mm -hmm. You know, I wasn't, closer wasn't even a coined phrase when we were, you know, uh, finishing up ball games. We used to come in. Now. It, now it's kind of that workload has been spread out over the setup guys and now you're seeing that uh, uh, the setup guys become so, so important to the success of your team. So, And then it allows like a guy like Mariano or that closer to you know finish up the game. So um, I saw that total you know evolution of the bullpen from what it used to be where a junk pile down there where you didn't even want to be in the bullpen. and, and um, you know, in Boston we had the helmet that, that brought us in from the bullpen, uh, like a golf cart with a, a Boston helmet. Mm. And so we had a lot of fun with that and, and now guys pretty much jog in and, and run in. They don't have the cars anymore.